Good morning and greetings from the very north of Georgia again. And in fact, I'm in the extreme north. In fact, might even be standing on the state line because this bridge behind me, this one here, I believe it to be in Tennessee. Whereas the rapids that you were seeing a little earlier, they're actually in the north of Georgia. And this is the Jacks River. Uh, famous trout stream, so my friend Dan would be loving to be here with me, I'm sure. But the Jacks River cuts all the way down through the Qatar wilderness. So, plan today is to head up to Jacks uh, River Falls, which is probably about two-thirds of the way down the Jacks River uh, Trail. Unfortunately, I can't do the Jacks River Trail today because, well, we've been having a lot of rain and I'm not sure about the stream crossings. And also it's uh, quite a lengthy uh, shuttle um, trail. So you have to park one car up at the top and park one at the bottom and, and come all the way down through. So the plan today is to go up to the beach bottom trailhead and walk in from there and probably going to be wild camping up there tonight. Uh, can't park, uh, can't camp right at the falls area, but uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Anyway, that's the plan. So I'm going to head up now to the beach bottom trailhead and um, start this little adventure. I've made it to Beach Creek and uh, Beach Creek is basically the start of where Beach Bottoms is and not very far at all to Jack's River now. In fact this is a lovely flat area and in the winter months there are five designated campsites just in this uh, little section here. Unfortunately at this time of year, in fact after I think it's the 1st of March and all the way through to November uh, you're not allowed to camp in this area. In fact, you're not allowed to camp in this area, Beach Bottoms, and you're not allowed to camp all the way down uh, to the falls themselves and beyond that. In fact, there's an area, and I can show you on the map, that is basically from on Jack's River from uh, the first water crossing or first stream crossing above the falls all the way down to the first uh, water crossing below the falls, plus this whole area of Beach Bottoms, and not allowed to camp. So, my plan is, if I follow this uh, trail to its terminus, where it hits the Jacks uh, River Trail, and then go upstream from there, I should very shortly come to that first stream crossing. And so, I'm going to be looking for my campsite just a little bit um, upstream of that. And then, once I've got myself situated, put the tent up, everything, then I'm going to head down towards the falls and check it out and see what there might be. Now weather-wise, uh, it's meant to be cloudy today. Um, <laughs> right now it's blue sky and sunshine, which is fabulous, but uh, um, I'm hoping for a little bit more cloud for the, the water uh, photography. But if not, then we'll just do something around the sort of sunset time once the sun has dipped um, low in the, in the sky. So that's the next step. Find a place to camp and uh, get the tent up.
Jack's River Falls. Here we come. Okay. Yeah. I guess this is the first falls here and the bigger falls just down over there. No idea how I'm going to capture this. Well, I've been right up to the uh, bottom of the falls there, and yes, yeah, very powerful, but I have to say, I, I like the middle section much better than the bottom here. Um, just doesn't look as good to my eye. Uh, I'm thinking maybe if I could get across the stream and onto the top of that rock there, I might get a slightly better angle, show the sheer power of the bottom of the falls here. But from this angle and from close up front, it's not too good. So I think there's a way across here, but I'm not going to do that this afternoon. I think I'll leave that probably until tomorrow morning, if at all. So I'm going to head back up to the middle section and uh, plan something out from there instead. So I changed my mind about coming over to the other side of the of the river. Um, basically, I I thought that the sun was going to go down behind me over here, and so actually in the morning the sun would rise over in this direction. So it would actually be better tonight to come over this side. And I'm really glad that I did because I found a couple of compositions, uh, including these three big boulders in the middle there, and the first one. I got up high and tried to make sure that I had separation between them with the, uh, the main part of the waterfall in the background. The second one that I've done, which is what I'm set up for here, and I've got a, uh, a graduated neutral density on there. I've also got the um, two-stop neutral density just to slow things down a little bit, and then the polarizer as well. And what I'm concentrating on actually are these bubbles here, and I'm really liking the way that they're moving so that when we actually uh, put it to a slow shutter speed of a second or two seconds, something like that, we get this nice swirl pattern in the foreground. And that's creating a fantastic foreground with the three rocks, which unfortunately can't be separated at the same time. Those two are overlapping, which 
I really couldn't do anything about. And then of course the main waterfall in the background. So Okay, time for one last photograph for tonight, or at least a series of photographs, because I've been waiting all afternoon for the, the light, especially up in the, the sky and on the tops of the trees there, to calm down a little bit so that I can take a, a sweeping panorama. Because this little rock here has a very nice vantage point. I can see the upper falls, the middle falls, and uh, the pool down the bottom there all in the one shot if I can get a good panorama. So, level the tripod, uh, stick the um, polarizer on just to take the glare out in the rocks, and then I think I took a series of six shots there, just one after the other, bang, 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 bang. So, uh, that'll do it for tonight. I'm gonna head back up to the campsite, uh, maybe make some hot chocolate, and uh, if there's a sunset, We'll watch it from there. So, night for now.